For each Last dollar. month was Fraud Prevention Month in Canada. And it turns out that in Fraud Prevention Month, I'm supposed to check up on the license of my financial person to prevent from being defrauded. Well, I looked it up, and here's what I found. I found that the license that the regulators were not bothering to tell me about is called advisor or advising representative. But this one is spelled with an E in the word advisor, if you can believe it. Keep that in mind. My guy spells his title advisor with an O, so I'm not getting the trick actually. Is it like visiting a doctor and maybe finding out that he spells doctor with an E at the end, just so I won't figure out that he's never been to medical school? Who would do that kind of thing? I have no idea, but I think it explains why my bank tells me that I am richer than I think, while they are the ones who are making $2 billion a quarter. So it turns out that when I look up the guy who the bank says is actually giving me financial advice, it turns out he has only a license called a dealing representative. He represents the bank, the dealer. And he's basically a salesperson and not an advisor at all. Not even one with an E, an O, or an E-I-E-I-O. For certain, there are a lot of professionals out there that have a real advisor license and they spell it properly so it is legal. It just turns out that none of them run out to greet me when I walk into my local bank or investment dealer. All of the folks wanting to hold my hand and my money have a title, and that title is spelled with an O, as in, uh-oh, they don't necessarily have the license and the correct spelling. They all do come running towards me, however, in slow motion, just like a lover in a fragrance commercial, and yet they're calling themselves advisors with one letter misspelled, so the public is none the wiser.